look who wants to raise taxes to pay for Muslim refugee housing, should we allow this? So now the real plan is finally starting to be revealed. Last week the government of Finland finally showed what the true monetary cost of taking in scumbag Muslim refugees really is. In an abrupt move, the government of Finland proposed increasing capital gains tax and income tax on high-income earners to help pay for the increase of refugees expected to arrive this coming year from the Middle East. The globalist Finnish finance minister Alexander Stubb said the highest bracket of capital gains tax would be raised by one percentage point while people earning more than 72,300 euros, $81,000, would be required to pay a so-called solidarity tax for two years, lowering the threshold from 90,000 euros. Stubb added that his additional revenue will help cover the higher immigration costs which are estimated to be about 114 million euros this year and which may very well be even higher in 2018. The citizens of Finland should be out protesting in the streets over this. But I'm sure since it's on the so-called rich who make more than 81k a year, it's okay with most of the population. And since when is making 81k a year considered being rich? 1% isn't the end of the world, of course, it's not, but why do people need to pay for the scrap to invade their country? Why is Europe hell-bent on becoming, if they aren't already, a Muslim-filled cesspool which breeds terrorism from the religion of Satan that is Islam? Barabwire.com reports. Christian Europe has become a Muslim enclave you dot s. Next. In the early months of 1683, Muslim hordes had plunged their way through Europe and plundered the cities taking slaves and turning the churches into mosques. Thousands of Christians were converted to Islam at the point of the sword. The Ottoman Turks, with an army of 140,000 men, had besieged Vienna for two months. Starvation was imminent. Arriving at the gates of Vienna in the summer of 1683, King Jan III Sobieski, a Polish Catholic called the savior of Western European civilization, successfully fought off the Muslims. The Ottoman army had almost taken the city. As the city was about to fall, King Sobieski arrived with 29,000 troops to drive off the aggressive Turks. From that time, the Ottoman Empire declined, decayed, and died. However, the Turks are on the move again. Islam is growing exponentially. Muslims are excited with the potential of a world caliphate. On July 4, 2014, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi climbed into the pulpit of the prestigious mosque known as Al-Nuri, now known as a pile of rubble, in Mosul, Iraq to proclaim himself Caliph Ibrahim over much of Iraq and Syria. As Iraqi forces closed in on ISIS troops near the mosque, the major complex was destroyed by ISIS. It seems Baghdadi's announcement was a little premature. In late June of 2017, Russia claimed to have killed Baghdadi and an Iranian official confirmed his death. Others are unbelievers in his death. The Iraqi Prime Minister claimed victory over ISIS in Mosul yesterday after a nine-month battle to take back the city. However, Muslims have reason for excitement since almost all of Africa is in their grasp from the northern coast down to Uganda and all of the Arabian Peninsula up to Kazakhstan and east of Turkey to India. Additionally, Malaysia and Indonesia are Muslim-majority nations and Muslims are making advances in the Philippines. Russia has 10% Muslims 14 million people. And almost 2 million Muslims in Paris. I have walked the cobbled streets of venerable European cities to my delight as I remembered numerous historical events that occurred there over the centuries. London, Frankfurt, Berlin, Zurich, Geneva, Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Brussels, Rome, Naples, Milan, Athens, Corinth, etc., are all cities of grandeur with historical events that are absorbing. The city sparkled with excitement, but, alas, no more. Europe is lost, gone, hopeless, destroyed, wrecked, smashed by illegal, irrepressible, and irresponsible immigration of countless Muslims. Only a fool, fanatic, or faker says otherwise. Moreover, America is following the exact path. The expanding world caliphate is already here. Our virtue today of taking in migrants will result in violence tomorrow from Muslim fanatics.
Additionally, the future belongs to those who have children. That says the future belongs to Islam. Former Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi presciently said, We have 50 million Muslims in Europe. Many more today, there are signs that Allah will grant Islam victory in Europe, without swords, without guns, without conquests. The 50 million Muslims of Europe will turn it into a Muslim continent within a few decades. Europe is in a predicament, and so is America. They should agree to become Islamic in the course of time, or else declare war on the Muslims. Because of irresponsible leaders such as Merkel of Germany, May of England, Macron of France, and others, millions of unvetted, unwanted, and uncontrolled refugees have flooded European nations and changed their culture. France and England have enclaves of violent Muslims where it is not safe for others to go. Crime, including rape, has soared into the stratosphere. Swedes, Norwegians, British, French, and Germans are watching the Islamization of their nation. Christian Europe is becoming Islamic Europe. Some call it Chrislam. I call it suicide. The world is watching a backward, bellicose, and bloody culture taking control of European nations and irresponsible leaders such as May, Markle, and Macron are making silly statements to assure everyone that Islam is really a religion of peace. Sure, they take a nation piece by piece. In Germany on July 18, 2016, a Muslim waving an axe on yelling Allah Akbar critically injured three people. Even though he signaled everyone he was a fanatical Muslim bent on killing unbelievers and an ISIS flag was found in his room, the timid German authorities said, it was too early to speculate about the motives of the attacker. The same thing happened about a month earlier with the same results. A screaming Muslim killed 84 people in Nice, France as he yelled, Alu Akbar in 2016 and the interior minister declared that the killer's motives were not yet established. He would not confirm that the man's motives were inspired by jihadism. Meanwhile, more courageous and honest leaders are like ancient Israel's watchmen on the wall warning of impending danger. Heinz Christian Strake, the leader of Austria's Freedom Party, warned refugees we will save you on the high seas, but we will send you back to the harbor where you started out. Marine Le Pen of France's National Front has been warning of Islamic immigration for years. Gerard Wilders of the Netherlands is a courageous and informed critic of Islam and is hated by progressives everywhere. Italian Monsignor Carlo Liberati, in 10 years we will all be Muslims because of our stupidity, he and other national politicians are alarmed at the many European Muslims who have fought in Iraq and Syria and could return to commit jihad in Europe. Furthermore, lower birth rates by Europeans can only result in disaster. Islam is on the march again as it was in the 7th century, but this time conquering by sperm, speech, and sword. Meanwhile, Hungary and Poland have angered the world's progressives, especially European Union leaders by refusing to accept Muslims into their nations. But they aren't having any terrorism. Pew Research Center predicts that Muslims will become the second largest religious group in America by 2050. European leaders prove by their ineffective, cowardly dealing with Islam that they are without brains, character, talent, and spine but common citizens will pay for their failure. It's Europe today, America tomorrow. All throughout history civilization have been conquered and even have disappeared because of this. But never has a civilization willingly given up and even paid to be invaded until the globalists convinced the EU that it's a great idea to become Muslim. All in the name of political correctness. Please share if you agree the Western world should stop taking in Muslim refugees. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.